Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yes, you read that title correctly, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Savannah for sharing this. She commented in a recent video saying, Another I would like to see if it hasn't been done is Joseph Prince pushing communion for healing. I was new, gullible, and desperate for my healing. Me and my mom would do this like a daily ritual. I wasn't healed and it made me angry with God instead of the false teaching because it never occurred to me at that time that just because someone talks about Jesus doesn't mean he's to be trusted. I have felt guilt for that for a while and afraid it's unforgivable. It feels very blasphemous what I did. First off, Savannah, I'm glad that God's opened your eyes to this and you don't need to feel guilty. You are following someone you thought was correctly teaching from God's word. If you've confessed this to God, then he's forgiven you and we all pray that he'll release the weight on you in Jesus' name. So let's take a closer look at this video called Release God's Healing Power Through the Holy Communion. And the Bible tells us that the early church was sick. Many were falling asleep before their time I kind of wish they didn't say many for one singular reason, not discerning the Lord's body. We're going to hear a few things linked together to support this false teaching. He's referring to 1 Corinthians 11, but a man must examine himself, and in doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. The Lord's Supper should not be treated like just another meal used to satisfy physical hunger. It must be approached with respect as something much more meaningful and important. Partaking in communion is proclaiming the death of Jesus. And if a person proclaims Jesus' death by doing this, but is living in sin and disobedience to the gospel, that person is essentially daring God to judge them. Whether by ignorance, arrogance, or simple error, insulting the sacrifice of Christ, even symbolically, is something God takes seriously. But this has nothing to do with taking communion to receive healing. And that's why I endeavor that every Sunday we have communion. And especially when we come to the bread, that's neglected all over the world. Many mainstream churches that partake, if they do partake, they focus more on the cup. But the Bible says it's not discerning the body that's causing the problem. I don't know any church that puts a focus on the bread or the cup. They go together, period. Why are there two elements? When the blood is taken from the body, there's death. The Lord's Supper is not about His resurrection. It's about His death. It's proclaiming the Lord's death till He comes. Amen. So why the two elements? Well, friend, by His stripes, your cancer died. And now He's throwing in some Isaiah 53 and connecting it to communion. By His stripes, your blood pressure is normalized. By His stripes, all the blockage in your arteries are cleared. By His stripes, you have brand new kidneys. By His stripe, your youth is renewed like the eagles. Remember, this sermon is called Release God's Healing Power Through the Holy Communion. So all those healings he just mentioned, including our youth, are supposed to happen through this process. And he's quoting Psalm 103.5 that says, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. At the age of about five, an eagle will go through a molting process where it loses most of its feathers and new ones replace them. They look sickly during this time, but eventually look amazing, and this gives the appearance of renewed youth in the eagle. For a believer, like King David who wrote this psalm, it shows that even though we get older, as we walk with God, our zeal and spiritual strength can be increased through him until the day we meet him. But as we see with Joseph Prince, he's combining verses to make it seem like communion is the recipe for healing. So God puts a premium in what you eat. Let's eat the food of the champions. Lift it up before the Lord, say, Lord Jesus, by your stripe, by your stripe, I am healed. 
made every whit whole. My youth and strength is renewed like the eagles. My body is restored to that of a young man, a young woman. By your stripe, through your grace, I will live to be 120. My eyes not dim, my strength not abated. Completely strong and healthy. But hey, we trust healing is taking place. All those of you who are watching via television, in the name of the Lord Jesus, healing be in that body right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Friend, you have partaken the very reason that God releases healing today. God cannot release healing in the body of a sinner without a righteous foundation. But God has found the ransom. God has found the righteous foundation. And the blood that we demonstrate right now has been shed, giving you, regardless of how much you think you've sinned against God, how far away you are from God, if you come trusting the work of His Son, the blood that has been shed, God has a righteous foundation to heal your body. Amen. So I cut out the clips of the band playing in between Joseph speaking, but we see that he's got people all over the world deceived with this time to remember Christ's sacrifice being turned into a healing ritual. Why is this wrong? Well, number one, there is no Bible verse that supports healing through communion. Number two, Jesus never practiced or commanded communion for healing. Number three, the apostles and early church never took communion for healing. Number four, Jesus simply said, do this in remembrance of me. If he wanted us to do this for healing, he would have mentioned it. And number five, instead of healing, scripture is clear that careless practice of communion could lead to sickness, weakness, and even physical death. And that's what Joseph Prince should have been teaching. So, we'll leave it here for today, but as always, Leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, take care and God bless.